purpose of these exercise sequences for my athlete who has good strength and fitness. I'm happy where he's at. I want to be ready on the field and he needs to have a lot of shoulder variability in how he applies his battle strength and his throwing strength through this amazing shoulder joint. We want to build that strength and tie it into the whole body so we can have connected unified strength as we transfer combine training over to the field. We're just setting up into an athletic ready position at the base of the pyramid to train to improve. Athletic ready, just narrow the feet up a little bit. Excellent job. Viper overhead. So we've got top down instability for the shoulders proprioceptively to understand what's going on. We're gonna thread the needle, dropping the hips, keeping the trunk fairly upright. Bring the viper overhead so our weight is overhead, switching hands going down. Nice shoulder variability. You get a good joint mobility in strength. Excellent job. Up overhead. Get tall. Come outside your center of mass. Drop down. Good arm shoulder strength connected to the back of the trunk and the hips. All right. Excellent. Take a breather. I would. Before I increase weight and get more dynamic, I'm going to add another element and move to train to gain, looking at instability from ground base with the smart muscle board that moves through three planes of movement concurrently. This is really a dual instability exercise because of the shoulder and trunk's responsibility to care for the loaded viper over the head and the feet and legs to understand the instability under the body. Tremendous neural challenge for the software to command and orchestrate the body. Let's do it. Viper overhead. Come down, thread the needle. Slow control as well, so we're taking away momentum to expose weak links. Instability at the top, instability at the bottom. Look, adding balance and pacing. Balance is the element. Slow pacing to take away momentum is an overload variable, making our challenge move up the progression pyramid in combine training to a train to gain with a high CTR, a very high CTR rating from the complexity of the exercise, even though we've taken away momentum, the metabolic cost shoots way up. Step off and relax, love it. We're moving up the pyramid, I'm not only making the exercises more complex and challenging to keep his body growing and improving and thinking and getting a great athletic engine, but I also want to help the transferability to the field. So we're going to integrate a drop step, which is a foundational movement skill in agility for direction change. Let's continue with thread the needle, integrating a drop step. Kick back, hips rotate, slide the viper through, match up, other side, drop step, slide through. Great job, we're getting some leg length, some hip mobility. Loading up through the relationship with the weighted object outside the center of mass so we have good battle strength that ties into the lumbar spine. One more on the other side. Drop step around, hip rotate, and beautiful. Relax the viper. Give your shoulders a five second breather. What I'm using is exercise in my Combine 360 programming, at the end of the day I want a high capacity and I want good explosive movement for this athlete, his sport. So we're going to add in some 180 degree jumps on there. Your demand is to still get tall, to still get deep with good posture and couple right off the floor. Think power, gain energy out of the legs. Here we go. Set it up, thread through, one side, right around, and hit it, and hit it. Hit it, gain energy off. Four more reps. Three, two, one, love it. Take a good rest. Excellent job, gaining energy under fatigue, unifying strength. Great job.